Handicapper Steve here, handicapping the racing from Gulfstream Park here on Saturday. It is January the 16th, 2016. Go look at the Sunshine's Millions card from Gulfstream Park. Before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at HorseRacingKid5 for full card selections. And I have to say, this is a great card from Gulfstream Park. I really mean it. Um, I cannot emphasize it enough. And I'm going to look at the stakes races on today's card. All Sunshine Million races, of course. Races 5, 6, 7, 9, 10, 11. Those were races 5, 6, 7, 9, 10, 11. We're just not going to look at race number 8 because that's not a stakes race. I want to look at the races everybody um, gets excited about. That's why I love doing the stakes races. Um, so th let's get on to today's action. Race number 5 is the Sunshine's Millions. Philly and Mayor Turf Purse, $150,000. It is for Phillies and Mayors, four-year-olds and upwards. We, have only, we only have seven horses going to post, traveling a mile 16th on the turf course. And they'll be using the inner portion of the turf course, going through lane 12, or the rail will be out uh, 12 feet. Um, they should just name the turf courses like they do at, like, um, like at Arlington, they call it lane 12, lane 1, lane 2, you know, at, um... Laurel, I believe they use like uh, old horses named like the Fort Marshall Lane, the Kelso Lane, something like that. But a mile 16th, they're traveling. Um, hopefully, we'll be on the turf. They had so much rain on Friday at Gulfstream. But um, uh, in this field of seven, I'm going to do a trifecta here. I'm going to key on the five horse here, who is Lori Store. Going to key that horse on top. Underneath, they're going to box the one four for 50 cents. That's going to cost you one dollar. But number five, Lori Store, two to one. John Velasquez from Marty Wilson. Last time out, they're on seven and a half rounds on December the 12th at Gulfstream Park in the South Beach Stakes. First third by one through quarter lengths, and I have to say that was a good third place finish. It was closing at the end, but was far, far back early. Uh, if you watch the replay, you can't even believe how this horse got third that day. Then at Gulfstream Park, mile 16th, uh, Gulfstream Park West, actually, mile 16th, uh, November 21st in the My Charmer Stakes. Grade 3 event that day uh, for three-olds and up. Finished fourth by one quarter lengths at 45 to 1. Just had a horrible trip. Didn't close at all. That I noticed, um... I really noticed that uh, Gulfstream Park West is, uh, or Calder, is a course that you have to stay close to the lead. It, it's not a deep close uh, race track. It's more towards the um, horses that are on this pace and stuff. Um, and then start before that was again at Gulfstream Park West, mile eighth, and October 24th in the Little Miss Magic Stakes, 75 grand. Finished third by four lengths. Again, was closing up, but you know it's just not the race course where you could uh, close up. But this horse was far back again that day. Twelve was uh, tenth early until about the half mile to three eighths pole. Um, last one came over this course in the sore softly overnight stakes, 75 grand back in August. Um, won easily. Um, 93 over this course, three wins, one second, one third. So that's five out of the nine starts have come into money. So I'm going to go with this one. So recount my bets for the Philly Mayor, Sunshine's Philly Mayor Sprint, uh, Philly Mayor Turf, actually. Um, getting too excited here for the uh, races later on. I'm going to go with the five horse here. Underneath, going to box the one four for 50 cents. going to cost you a dollar. So now let's get on to race number six, the sixth race from Gulfstream. It is the Sunshine's Million Sprint. Purse $150,000 for four-year-olds and upwards. We have a field of eight horses traveling Six furlongs. Another great card. A great race on this card. Six furlongs. Showing that gives me a second to stop speaking. <laughs> and um, can do another fifth trifecta here for 50 cents. Going to key in on the five horse, who is Wildcat Red. Underneath, they're going to box to 7 8 for 50 cents minimum base wager. It's going to cost you one dollar. <laughs> but uh, number five, Wildcat Red, five two, Javier Castellano. This horse was actually on a Derby Trail about two years ago. Ran actually in the Gulfstream at uh, Gulfstream Park in the Florida Derby. Finished second by a neck behind uh, Constitution or Constellation, whatever that horse's name was. And actually ran the Derby in 2014. Finished the 18th by 29 and a quarter lengths. Had a horrible trip that day also. But um, his last start came into Vosburgh at Belmont Park, six furlongs on uh, December September the 26th. Finished fifth by four and a half lengths. Was setting the pace early. Uh, didn't just weaken uh, after that about. The going around the turn weakened very badly. Um, then a uh, four go up at Saratoga, some furlongs uh, on uh, Oops 29th. Fish fourth by four and a half lengths. Wasn't catching private zone at all that day. For sure wasn't. Was just a bit out kicked. Uh, was up there stalking the pace, but wasn't with it. Private zone just too quick for this horse. And then the Teddy Drone, six furlongs down on the Jersey Shore at Monmouth Park back on August 2nd. One by head that day. And he got the nod in the final few uh, sh stretch of the, uh, in the final few, uh, you know, 
furlong. Um, gonna go with this one. He's been sprinting as of lately. His last one, two, three, four, four starts have been uh, sprinting. Um, I think in this run he could really do well here. Um, I do not like the, uh, there's another horse, the eight horse, even money. Do not, I wouldn't put even money on that horse, I, even though he did get a really good buyer speed figure, 107, the Mr. Prospector, a few weeks ago. I just think that horse could be beaten today, and I, uh, I'll put it underneath, but I just don't think the eight horse called me crazy, but I just want to find a bit of a long shot. Five and two is not a long shot, of course, but, you know, not going to go with any money here. I'm um, trying, I think that favorite is very beatable in this race. So going to go with this one. Um, right actually in last year's Sunshine Feeling Classic was stalking the pace early on in the week and finished fifth by 19 quarter line sprinting today. Going to go with this one. So recap my bets for race number six from Gulfstream Parks, the Sunshine Feeling Sprint. Going to go with the five horse here. Going to keep that horse on top. Going to box the 70 on the bottom for 50 cents. Going to cost you a dollar. So now let's get on to race Number seven from Goldstream. Seventh race is the Sunshine's Million Sprint. First hundred fifty thousand dollars for four year olds and upwards. We have a field of twelve horses, and the twelve horse will be uh, a main track only. They are traveling again five furlongs on the turf course, like I said, um, and they'll be using the inside portion of the turf course, going for the um, twelve feet out rail. Five furlongs. And I'm going to go uh, go with the five horse again. I have the five horse a lot today at Goldstream Park, I noticed. Uh, I'm going to key the five horse, who is pure sensation on top. Uh, I'm going to box the 710 underneath for 50 cents. Again, it's going to cost you a dollar. Most, uh, lately, I've been playing a lot more um, trifactors. Personally, I don't want to... Uh, I've been first thing you can make more money with those um, and second uh, saving money also I want to save money for college also five to two on John with John Velasquez on pure sensation last time out hasn't started since October 31st that was a Keelan on a good turf course five and a half in the Bruce Cup turf sprint finished eighth by seven quarter lengths was in close at the four and a half for a long uh, marker it had a horrible trip was closing at the end but was too little too late um, then at Parks, five furlongs, turn of the seventh and turf monster stake. One by nose, was talking the pace early, got the lead around the far turn, and just went on to a very, uh, good victory. He almost got caught at the wire, but, you know, it was a very good, um, victory that day. And then Saratoga, five and a half on July 31st, an optional six, two claimer. One by three and a half lengths. Again, he was just uh, very good, was leading all throughout, basically. Um, gonna go with this one. Uh, four and three at the distance, loves it. In this spot, I really think he could do well. He has proven himself on a dirt course, just in case they want to take this race off the turf. If they do and this horse is scratched, go on Twitter, at my uh, Twitter account, at uh, Horse Racing Get 5 to find who I would like if this horse gets uh, scratched, because I don't have to re-handicap this race. But right now, if it's on turf, I'm going to go with this one. So to recap my bets for race number seven from Goldstream Park, it's the Sunshine Civilians Turf Sprint. Get a key in. On the five horse underneath, gonna box the 710 for 50 cents, gonna cost you a dollar. But now we're gonna head over to race number nine. We're gonna skip race eight and we're gonna head over to race number nine, which is the Sunshine is Millions this staff for $200,000 for Phillies and Mayors, four year olds and upwards. We have a field of 10 horses traveling, seven furlongs. Another great, great race. Seven furlongs. And in this race, again, I'm gonna do a trifecta for 50 cents. <coughs> <laughs> Excuse me. And um, I'm going to key in on the seven horse to the outside, who is Doug Wood Trout, six to one. I'm uh, going to key that horse on top. Underneath, going to box the four, five, four. The 50 cents minimum base, it's going to cost you a dollar. Number seven, Doug Wood Trial. Um, trail, actually. Uh, six to one, Jose Caraballo for Stanley Gold. Last time out, throwing at Goldstream Park, six furlongs on December 26, and the Sugar Swirl Stakes for grade three that day. Finished fourth by five and three quarter lengths. So was up near the leaders early on in the race, then just weak in a bit. Um, first start uh, in about two, three months, something like that. August the 3rd was, October the 3rd was the last start, actually, at Goldstream Mile 16th, uh, and, uh, Florida Stallion Stakes. Finished second by six and a quarter lengths. Um, he wasn't catching the winner. was setting the pace early on the race, and it was just practically weak in that day. Um, cutting back to the distance, six for, seven furlongs today. He's done well. He won two races over the summer here at this distance at Gulfstream. Won uh, another Florida Stallions uh, race for 150 grand on uh, August 8th. And on July 5th, won the Azalea Six uh, grade three uh, race that day. Um, at Gulfstream, nine and four. Loves his course. Four wins, three seconds. Um, looks very hard to beat in the spot. Um, so going to go with this one. So recap my bets for race number nine from Gulfstream Park. It's the Philly Mayor. This staff going to go with the seven horse underneath, going to box the four or five for 50 cents. Guess what? It's going to cost a dollar. Uh, so now let's get on to race number 10, which is another, another great, great race. 
The 10th race is the Sunshine's Millions Turf, purse $150,000 for 4-year-olds and upwards. We have a field of 12 horses traveling a mile and 1 16th, and they'll be using the outer portion of the turf course for this one. The um, rail will be out 84 feet. And I'm going to do another 50 cents trifecta. You know it's going to cost a dollar. I mentioned that quite a few times already. But I'm going to key in on the two horse here, uh, Fundamental. I'm uh, going to put that horse on top here. Underneath, I'm going to box the 611. So 611 underneath box, two keyed in. Number two, Fundamental, 2 to 1, I ride Ortiz Jr. Last time out there on Del Mar, mile on the 8th on November the 28th in Hollywood Derby. Grade 1 event that day. Finished fourth by length that day. Um, was very willingly into stretch. Had a horrible trip. Was blocked early, you know, in tight. Throw that race out. Then the Byron Station stakes for 100 grand a key on the Mon 8th on uh, October 30th, the um, Breeders' Cup Day 1 event. Um, the Breeders' Cup, you know, Day 1 of the Breeders' Cup events. Finished fifth by two and three quarter lengths. I don't know if he liked the turf that day. Um, and plus, had a horrible trip. Uh, just did nothing. First time on a wet surface. Hopefully, Tay, if he gets a clean trip, we'll see how he likes the turf. That's why I don't, I don't want to judge that race by the ground. He did have a horrible trip. Um, did a Laurel Mile on the 8th on September the 19th, the Commonwealth uh, Derby Grade 2 event that day. Then a second by the length. It's closing very well that day, but was had to check a few times. I think that horse could have won it that day. Um, has never won against Stakes Company. Ran at Stakes Company's last three, um, but they've all been pretty decent events. Just couldn't catch it. Um, with the way this course is going, I think this horse could really close. Um, so going to go with this one. So recap my bets for the Sunshine's Millions Turf. Going to key in on the two horses, my top selection. Underneath, going to box the 611 for my trifecta. So now let's get on to race number 11, the featured on the program. The 11th race, what is the Sunshine's Millions Classic? Purse two hundred fifty thousand dollars for four year olds and upwards. Uh, for Florida breads, field of ten horses traveling a mile and one eighth. Another great, great race. I think I said that already too. Mile and eighth. And I'm gonna do actually super fact here for if ten cents can cost you sixty cents. Um, but I'm gonna key in on the five horse here, Mexigoma, nine to two, four and a half to one with John Velasquez. Really like this horse here out of Birdstone. Um, last time out there on Goldstream Park, mile 16th, December the 12th, in Harlan's Holiday Stakes for 100 grand. Finished fifth by four and three quarter lengths. Um, you know, he it wasn't his best run. Broke from the six hole going a mile 16th. They start that basically right on the turn, and um, he just uh, he just had a really bad beginning of the race, closing up really well at the end. But you know, it's just not. It wasn't his best run. Then Belmont on the slop mile on October the 28th, an optional hundred claimer. Finished third by four lengths. So I have to say he was weakening late, but was up there early. This horse, that was his only bad run on. On um, on a sloppy going. Actually, on the slop, this horse has been doing very well, on a, or on a very wet course. It stopped before that, September 13th here at Belmont in New York, mile 16th, an optional 262 claimer. Won by eight lengths and was closing. Got the lead off the court ball, just went off to drew off to a very clear victory. Um, I am I am expecting there to be some moisture in the course, if not it being total sloppy. If it is sloppy, watch out for this one. This horse will be a monster in the slop. Um, and then one of actually another race at Belmont, a mile 16th on the slop, June the 28th. The lounge race 77,000. One by one quarter lengths. So just drew off late that day again. Um, gonna go with this one. Um, the next question is the stakes company. Uh, he didn't do. He did okay last time out. He, he ran in uh, the Alley Dar back up at Saratoga Mile Eighth uh, back in August and finished ninth by uh, ninth and quarter lengths. Just had a horrible post vision also and was wide all throughout. <laughs> Nothing. Gets a decent post vision going a mile and eighth. Carrying 117 pounds like most of these horses are, but training decent. Um, the source actually ran the Breeze Cup Juvenile back in 2013 at Sanita. Finished six by six and three quarter lengths, uh, three and three quarter lengths actually. Um, he um it was a uh, very game that day. It was far back early. Closed well. Um, this horse will be closing again. I, th I really like this horse here out of Barnstone. I think this horse could win it here. So recap my bets for race number 11. The Sunshine's Millions Classic. Gonna go with the 5 horse. Gonna key that horse on top. Underneath gonna box the 489 for the... Um, if you want to play a 50 cents trifecta with it, it's going to cost you three dollars. For the um, to play the uh, 10 cent super, it's going to cost you 60 cents. So good luck to all, and follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kid Five. Good luck, everybody.